Welcome to my first video on this channel. Today, I'm in the oldest pub in Birmingham and I'm staying the night and it's supposed to be haunted. So let's just get to the room and I'll show you what it's like. The Old Crown was built in 1368, which makes it the oldest pub in Birmingham at over 600 years old. The pub has survived the Civil War and survived corporations trying to get it demolished over the years. There are around 10 rooms you can stay in at the pub and tonight I'm staying in the largest room they have to offer. The first thing I've noticed is there's low beams everywhere. Like, we got a tort around when we first came. You basically have to be careful of them. Because if you're tall, like me, you will literally hit your head. We've managed to get the largest room here. But if you've got a small room, you have to share this bathroom. So if you've got a small room here, you have to share a room with everyone else. Well, a bathroom at least. It's a decent bathroom, to be fair, to say you'd be sharing it. It's not bad, but we have our own ensuite. What I've noticed about this room is it's quite weird because it's got a window, which I don't understand. Down there is the pub. Another thing I've noticed is the soundproofing isn't the best, but it's all right for the price. I'll tell you the price of the room at the end. Here is the room, very old fashioned. So you walk in the room, they've got a single bed there, which is where I'm staying, a double bed over there, and then another single over there. First thing we noticed was everything is very old fashioned. But good thing is, it comes with a clean towel and what else? Refreshing shower gel. I don't think that will do much, but yeah, towel and shower gel. And the beds aren't too uncomfortable, but they are a bit rackety. Like look at this. Uh, this one is barely hanging on. That's on its last legs, literally. But at least the covers are clean. Even on this one, that's not secure at all. But it's all right. There's also some weird paintings of the royal family. I don't know why the owners of this place love the royal family, but they clearly do. The wardrobes in here are proper old fashioned. You can tell these have been around for a good few years. It came with a kettle, a little station with teas and cups and all of that. I have got some UV torches, so I'm going to go around the room in a minute with a UV torch once I've showed you the bathroom and see if anything's dirty or clean. There's also a weird chair here that does look kind of creepy. The floor is very uneven. That's what we all notice. People are falling over. It slants that way. It's quite weird. But into the bathroom, which is actually quite nice. It's got a nice bathroom. It looks very modern. Only thing about this bathroom is there's a window in the door, so you won't be having a shit in peace, but there is these curtains, so no one can actually see. There's also a mirror if you want to watch yourself on the toilet, and a weird, like, it looks like a bus stop through here. It's like a little seat where you can look out the window at the lovely street. That's another thing. It's not the best area. There's graffiti on every single wall. Like walking down the street, it's just all roadworks and graffiti everywhere. This building has actually been here since the 1300s. So it's been here for hundreds of years. So the floorboards are actually proper squeaky because they've been here for years. But yeah, Peaky Blinders, you can see up there, piece of art about Peaky Blinders. That was filmed in this area as well. I want to have a look at the shower though, because everyone wants a nice shower. It's got two heads. It's got this one down here and the main one up there. It does look a bit dirty, I can't lie. Where does it turn on from? There? No. There? There. Well, I nearly got sprayed. Oh, God. Oh god, 
Right, it's a decent shower. I've got it all over the place now. The actual toilet is quite loose. If you look, it literally lifts up. Don't know what just did, but if you listen as well, when you flush, it makes a mad sound. There you go. Sounds like a broken train or something. It's not too bad to be fair. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Right, so here I have a UV torch, which shows marks and dirt that you can't really see with the human eye. Obviously, the first place to start is probably the beds. When you look at the top of the sheets, they actually look clean, to be fair. Pillows look clean, but let's check underneath. Underneath, still clean. You've got to give it to them. What about under the sheet? Mattress. The mattress even looks spotless. If this video gets 20 likes, I'll go to the worst reviewed hotel in my city. 20 likes and I'll do it. We could also try it on the remote and stuff on the control. You just see lots of dust on it really. No real dirt though. You know what I do want to look at? The cups. Let's check the mugs. See how dirty or clean they are. Oh, that actually does look dirty. The mugs are dirty. Kettle looks a bit dirty as well, a bit grimy. They do a decent job of keeping it clean. Right, so into the bathroom again. I'm gonna check the toilet and the tap and things like that with this light. First of all, the tap. Oh, a bit grubby on top, but nothing too bad, I don't think. Bit of white powder. Wonder what someone's been doing in here. The seat's all right. It's not too bad. I think they actually do have a good cleaner, but let's check the bath as well. Let's see what we can see. Oh, straight away, I turn the light off and I can see marks. Don't know what people have been getting up to in the bath. There's something up the walls as well. And what about the shout? Oh, okay, That's, that looks disgusting. I can see all sorts of hairs and everything. We've also got our own little TV. So it's about 30 inches. The weird thing about the control, normally the batteries are on the bottom. For some reason it's at the top. But yeah, got a decent TV. Apparently not, it doesn't turn on now. Well, we did have a decent TV, it was on earlier. The curtains are very old. Oh, this one even has a split in it. I don't know how that's happened, but it's got a hole in it. The windows aren't the best. This one literally has a hole in it. There's holes in the actual windows. But I can hear seagulls. Seagulls in Birmingham, what's going on? I don't think you can actually open the actual window. Whoa, oh, never mind. That sounded a bit creepy. Yeah, it's a very noisy window, basically. But it opens if you want fresh air. Apparently, it's actually haunted here. There's a video that's online where downstairs in the bar area, there was a bottle of whatever drink, I don't know, gin, whatever it was. It slid off the bar onto the floor and rolled. It's someone knocked it over and you just see two guys peering over confused. Obviously it could be fake, but it doesn't look that fake to me. But yeah, apparently it is haunted here and it would make sense because it's very old. But I've also got some ghost hunting equipment with me, so we could try and interact with the spirits, but there might not be any. Who knows? We'll find out. So I've got a voice recorder here, which we can record audio and see if we hear anything back. I've also got an EMF detector. The way the EMF detector works is you turn it on, it'll it should just show the first green light, yep, as it's doing. And then you would say something like, if there's a spirit in here, blah, 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 turn on the second green, third, yellow, whatever. And sometimes it works. It's worked for me before, but sometimes it doesn't work. I'm going to sit on this trusty green sofa. It does actually feel cold in here now, I think about it. So you've got the angle there and the angle here. Let's turn it on and see if anything happens. If there's any spirits or ghosts in this building, light up the second green on the EMF detector. 
If there are any spirits or ghosts in this building, light up the second green on the EMF detector that I'm holding right now. Great, nothing. We did actually test it on by the sofa earlier and it was working. So we'll put it down on there and say it. If there are any spirits or ghosts in this building at all, light up the second green on the EMF detector. Right, you know what? I'm gonna try one more time. Why is it going crazy all of a sudden? <laughs> What's it doing? <laughs> You know what, let me try it on the bed. If there are any spirits or ghosts in this room with us right now, turn on the second green on the EMF detector. If there are any spirits or ghosts in this room, turn on the second light on the EMF detector. This light here, the second one. Turn it on completely. This is your last chance, so I'm turning it off. If there are any spirits or ghosts in this building at all, turn on the second green on the EMF detector right here. That's not turning it on. It keeps flickering, so it's making me want to do it more. If there are any spirits or ghosts in this building, or if there has been at any time in the past, flicker the second green twice. Oh, it's doing something. So now I have an audio recorder. With this, basically there's a certain name to a method, but I don't know it, I'm not a ghost hunter, I forgot it. But you record yourself asking a question, leave a bit of blank space, listen back, and then sometimes, you hear something back. Are there any spirits or ghosts in this building with us right now? How did you die? Right, so there's two questions I've asked. To be honest, all I could hear was people in the other rooms, but let's see. Are there any spirits or ghosts in this building with us right now? How did you die? No, I don't think it's haunted. We've done our investigation, but I might go to a haunted place at some point. Now, what I'm really curious about is up there, there's a hatch to the attic and it probably should be shut, but I want to know what's up there. So I'm going to go and have a look. It's literally an old fashioned wooden look it lifts up. I want to get on the bed and see what's up there. I'm onto my phone now, just so I can actually look what's up there. Just an empty attic. It goes far that way as well. Quite boring. Anyone in there? Any ghosts? So the question is, how much did it cost for this room? A single bed there, single bed there, double bed, an ensuite, which this is the only room that has. It cost us 70 quid. So 70 quid split between four people, it's literally a bargain. You literally get your own TV, you've got a sofa, you've got coffee, tea, got all this stuff, a little bin, nice royalty artwork if you're into that. Yeah, it's a nice little building. You could just nip downstairs if you want a drink, it's all right. So I hope you enjoyed my little tour of the old crown. It's in Birmingham. It's not in the best area at all. But yeah, it's a decent hotel. Thank you for watching my first video on this channel. And I'll see you in the next one. I don't know what I just did. Just